In this video, we'll take a look at simple interest, continuously compounded interest, and compound interest problems. And I uh, underlined here the um, important formulas that go with simple interest. It's I equals PRT in uh, I is going to be the uh, simple interest. A uh, equals P times 1 plus RT, where A is the future value. Um, continuously compounded interest, the formula is A equals P times E to RT, where A is the future value. E is the irrational number, um, 2.71 uh, um, and so on. You can find it in the calculator. And the compound interest formula, it's A equals, the future value equals P, the principal times 1 plus R over N to uh, the power NT, or using the application from the um, uh, TI, 8384. So now let's take a look at uh, this specific problem. Let's say you have $10,000 now, and you invested it for 10 years. So you put it in an account and leave it there for 10 years. How much money will you have if, and we have three different situations. The simple interest rate is 5%, and then the account has 5% interest compounded continuously, or the account has 5% interest compounded monthly. So if you think about it, all the problems that we have here start from the same uh, given information. That is, the principal is $10,000. Um, then the future value is um, what we want to find. The time is 10 years. And the interest rate is 5%, which will transform it into a decimal 0 0.05. So we want to find out how much money will you have. So um, simple interest, right? Simple interest means we are going to use the first formula. We are going to use this one. So it's going to be A equals P times 1 plus RT. So, um, A equals 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 times 10 years. So, order of operation, we do this multiplication. So, we have 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.5, 1 1.5, and we get 15,000. So, $15,000. So, if we start with 10000 and we invested in an account at 5%, simple interest, for 10 years, we'll end up with $15,000. Let's take a look at another situation. The account has 5% interest compounded continuously. So, we still have the present value or the principal is 10,000. We still invested for 10 years. We have the interest rate, it's 5% or 0 0.05. And we want to find the future value, but this time the interest is compounded continuously. So we are using the formula A equals P times E to RT. So 10,000 times E to 0 0.05 times 10, which means 10,000 times e to 0 0.5. And we are going to put this in the calculator. So 10,000 times. Now the button for e is right here, but is in blue. So we do second ln e to 0 0.5 enter and we end up with $16,487.21 which we are going to write here $16,487.21 so we have 10,000 we put it in an account that compounded the interest continuously um, at the 5% rate and we end up with 
and 21 cents in 10 years. Now let's take a look at another situation. We still have the principal is 10,000. We still invested for 10 years. We still have the interest rate 5%. But this time it's compounded monthly. So monthly means N equals 12. If it said quarterly, N would be 4. If it said yearly, N would be 1. So the formula is A equals time, A equals P times uh, 1 plus R over N to NT. So P is 10,000 times 1 plus r is 0 0.05, n is 12, raised to 12 times 10. So let's put this in the calculator. So we have 10,000 times parentheses 1 plus um, 0 0.05 divided by 12, raised to the power parentheses um, 12 times times 10 enter and we end up with 16,470 and 9 cents so let's write it um, 16,470 and 9 cents so again, we start with 10,000, we put it in an account at 5% compounded monthly for 10 years, and we end up with $16,470.09. So if we compare all three situations, we end up with all these values, right? 15,000, 16,487, 21 cents, and 16,470 and nine cents. So these two are pretty close to each other right but it does make a difference if you are an accountant to choose the correct one now i want to also solve problem c or part c using the ti so if i was to use ti 83 or 84 i should get exactly the same thing but uh, to show work for that we will write n equals well uh, 10 years and um, 12 um, months per year. The interest rate is 5%, so we'll just write 5, not transform that into a percentage like we did for the formula. Then the present value is given to be 10,000. The payment is 0. We are not using that uh, right now. The future value is what we want to find, so I'm going to put it in a box to complete later. And the computations per year are monthly, so then we are going to put here 12. So let's go back to the calculator. And let's go to apps. Then we go to 1. And then we go to 1. And let's fill in this. So n is going to be... Um, 10 times 12. The interest rate is 5. The present value is 10,000. The payment is 0. If we don't write anything, we're going to get an error. P slash Y is 12, C slash Y is 12. I'm going to leave it like that. And for payment, we put end all the time. Now, the future value, we press alpha, enter. And that's going to solve for us. And we got 16,470 and 9 cents. Don't worry about the minus. The minus represents if I have the 10,000 now, I'm going to um, owe... Uh, 16,470 later. So the minus is not going to um, make any difference for us. We're just going to consider the positives. So using the calculator, we still get 16,470 and 9 cents um, as if um, we would do a formula. So whatever, um, but the TI can be used only when we have 
compounded uh, interest just for this situation. For simple and for compounded continuously, we do have to use the formulas.